this video, um, we're going to take a look at um, the process of deciding how to do black and gray shading, how to easily produce a trace so that we can do a uh, re semi-realistic towards realistic and maybe hyper-realistic tattoo. But starting out, it's quite difficult to find out how to do the trace in order for us to be able to achieve a good quality outcome. So in the art world, um, most uh, very simplistic charcoal um, sketches and so on, people who work with black and gray, um, specialize in using a value system made up of black on the one side, white on the other, and two grays in between. So basically how it works is you have black and a dark gray and you have white and a just off white. So this gives you a four uh, color system and this is your full range of value that you would use in your sketch. Now in the tattoo industry over the last couple of thousand years we've developed our own system and this is a uh, six color uh, or six step value system with black on the one side, white on the other, and four steps in between. Um, so, as you uh, learn more and more about the tattoo industry, you will you become more familiar with this. This doesn't mean that there are only six steps from black to white on a computer. Um, we, with the conventions we use today, there are 255 shades of grey, but in effect there's an infinite number of shades. But the human eye can't see all of these. So on a computer screen between the value of zero, which is black, and about 50, which uh, is a grey, you can't tell the difference. Um, so the, it's very difficult for the human eye to tell fine differences. And certainly between 49 and 50 shade, uh, it's totally impossible for the human eye to tell the difference. Okay, so in tattoo industry, we've simplified it down to six rather large steps. And that's quite difficult when you're starting out in this industry to actually know how to do that. So what I've done is on our skinart.co.za site, so that's our South African skin art site, uh, we have a tool under the video section where you would find this video, and there's a tool which will help you to uh, you, uh, find out how to do your trace nice and easily. So I'm going to head over to the computer now, and I'm going to run through how to use this tool to produce a six-step value system in a tattoo trace. I hope you find it uh, informative and helpful. Hi, welcome to this little video just to show you how to use our tattoo value system image tool. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So you get to this page by uh, going onto our website um, and navigating uh, under our video section to uh, the tattoo value system video and um, when you click on the uh, link you come to this web page very very simple okay so um, what you'll see at the top is a heading and then you'll see a little button that says choose a file uh, upload uh, there's a little create button and there's a big number one, obviously, you can see, and result. Okay, so um, let's go and um, choose a file. So I'm going to click choose, and we should get our Windows dialog box. Um, opens default into your uh, Windows pictures. Um, and uh, I'm just going to go along and choose this particular picture over here, which you know, I find quite nice and I'm going to then click Upload. Okay, as long as the image is under the limit, um, you will see this happen um, straight away. 
Now, the exciting thing about this software is that on the left hand side is my original image and on the right hand side is a tattoo value system image. Let's just have a little look at that. So I'm going to press uh, control and plus and zoom a little bit and then I will zoom roll down so we can have a little bit of a look. Okay, so hopefully you can see that nice and clearly. Okay, so what we have is we have, if we look at the shades of grey, we can see there are some parts of the image are black. So uh, hopefully you can see these black segments. Okay, then there's some dark grey. So this colour here around the neck there's a shadow there there's some deep shadows in the ears you can see that's a very dark gray then we have a slightly less dark gray so if you have a look here around um, here under the armpit there a little bit on the muscle there's a little bit over there and some on the head okay and then you can see there's a lighter gray here the chest the pec muscle that's all this lighter gray we've got some lighter gray here on the chin uh, we've got a little bit of light gray here on the nose and here on the forehead a little bit okay and then finally we have some white bits so i hope you enjoyed that uh, a, a little introduction to the value system and that you find it of value um, in your tattoos going forward.